Hello everyone, my name is Lynette and welcome to my channel. This is the channel of good news. It's the channel where you can hear about the goodness of the Lord. And um, I am a minister of the gospel. Um, I wanted to uh, teach and preach on Christ. I have a heart to save people and a heart to encourage people and a, and a heart to help people. And that's why I'm starting this channel. And this is my first video, so bear with me and pray for me. And um, so that's what this channel is going to be, uh, a channel where we discuss the Bible, uh, a channel where you can um, be inspired and be encouraged. And so I hope you enjoy this channel. I hope you subscribe to this channel and please click and on the like button for me and tell your friends and family of this channel of the good news. Um, I'm going to share some, a few scriptures for you today. Um, on we're going to talk about the love of God. And um, you can write these scriptures down and, and read them also for yourself. Or if you want to do it along with me, you can. I'm going to start off with uh, a salvation scripture, which is John 3.16. And we're going to study this scripture and just a few scriptures for today. And so that we hope and pray that if you're not saved, you'll get saved. And if you are saved, that you'll be encouraged. And so I want to talk to you briefly today just about the love of God and how God loves you. God loves man. He created all of us. And um, the devil who steals, kills, and destroys, he calls all this havoc and chaos in this world. And, and, and so... He hates man. Devil hates man because God created us and he knows that God loves us. And a lot of times you hear people say, well, God is mad with the world and God just don't like the world. And well, there may be that thing that God doesn't like about maybe what the world does. But John 3, 16 says, for God so loved the world. So God still have, even though all these things that happen in the world, that goes on in the world, God still have mercy on the world. But it reads that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So God wants man to live and he wants them to live the abundant life. But you don't have the abundant life if you have not received his son, Jesus. And Jesus came from heaven down to earth to save us. We were all sinners. We were born as sinners because of what Adam did in the Garden of Eden. When God told him not to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Not to partake from that tree. Adam did it anyway, and now the world has fallen. And so everyone that is born, they're born as sinners. And so God saw that we needed a savior. And he sent his son, Jesus. And verse 17 says, For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So he didn't send Jesus to condemn us or to condemn the world, but that the world through Christ might be saved. Now, some people have taken this scripture and say, okay, you know, because Jesus came and saved the world, that the whole world is going to heaven. Okay. Well, let's continue to read um, verse 18 and it'll clear that up. Because I don't believe in universalism where everyone is going to heaven. Okay. Um, 
But we'll, let's see what verse 18 says. We'll let the scripture speak for itself. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. So each person has to believe in the name of Jesus. They have to believe in God's Son in order to go to heaven, in order to become saved. We have to believe in God's Son. There's no other way to get to God but through His Son. And a lot of religions will say, oh yeah, I believe in God, yeah, I believe in God. But they don't want to go through His Son, Jesus, whom God has given all power and all authority on heaven and on earth. So, when you are saved, you will never be condemned by God. Okay? Because that's what that scripture specifically says. I've heard where even some people say, well, you'll be condemned if you leave this church or leave that church. You're going to be condemned and all that. God would never condemn you. Yes, we make mistakes. We sin at, at times. We fail. We miss the mark. But you'll never be condemned by God. And I also, there's another scripture that I wanted to share with you because we're talking about the love of God and how much God loves you. God loves you so much. And not only does he love, he's in love with you and he will never leave you nor forsake you. He loves you. Romans 8 uh, verse 31 says, what then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but deliver him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely gives us all things? So this is showing the love of God. It said he gave up his own son for you and for I. The last two verses in Roman 8 says this, And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow, not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. So even there may be times where you feel that you're not loved. Know that God loves you. You don't have to be with this person and that person and over here trying to find love, over here trying to find love in things. Just know that God loves you. And he'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you, and nothing can separate you from his love. And that's, and that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you today. And let me say this, if you're not saved, and you want to be saved, just repeat after me, Lord Jesus, come into my life, forgive me of my sins, and save me. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And if you just said that, you are now in the family of God. You are saved 100%. And your life will never be the same. You'll have abundant joy and abundant life. And continue to come and listen to the good news, to the word of God. Thank you so much. And I'll be seeing y'all soon. Bye-bye.